We are indeed the Dutch. What am I, or what what land do I like the most? Probably Pangaea. Oh well. Yeah, the S4 posters out, stored out, still done that. I don't know if the. I'm pretty sure they'll sell out fast, but it's the last one with special on it. <laughs> Come on, guys, last one with me. Especially the sign ones. I I highly suggest you get a sign one if you really want one. Because unless some miracle happens, oh my god! Yep. Everybody lies. <laughs> I just said I'm not. Yo. Yo. Oh, I'm just gonna get something. All right. Fucking rub for it. Is that slurping sound? Hard candy? This is peanuts. Maybe I should move up my thing. A room with local. How do you get the icons for the resources? Bottom, bottom right here. I like resource ones because it's handy. The yield ones is handy too, but I don't think it looks as pretty with <laughs> those. Why are there apples all over the place? What do you do in this game? There's several victory conditions. What I'm doing is. Get enough votes in the United Nations and vote. Good old Rob Ford as their world leader. God bless. So. That's all I gotta do. And then we'll slowly win the game. Like, in order to do that, obviously, I need to get a lot of money. I have to ally up all the AI or the, uh, the non-big players in the city-states. So that's what we're going for. <laughs> Just single player. It's just single player. I just I just loaded a game. That's why <laughs> it'd be really weird. It's like, hey guys, uh, yeah, I'm at the end of the stream again. Can we get back in that game? I don't, I do not like vodka. I drank a lot of it in New York. Do not like it. It just burns my throat, man. <laughs> it burns. It just burnt me, man. Holy shit! Toronto makes so much money. I'll be glad to take some off of you. Difficulty uh, number six, which is the that'd be emperor. It's above king and then below immortal. Is it good to have AI figure out improvements as a beginner? They usually do bad improvements, so I would I'd say no. You can usually figure it out yourself because when you click on a worker, it usually tell you like when you can do something. Look here, I'm obviously gonna do this, but. This is my specialty. I can make the ground colorful. Now I make marsh tiles different. Have you drank soju? I do not believe I have. Or maybe I did a little. Didn't like it. I'm pretty sure it must have been at a Korean barbecue place. Rotterdam is the biggest shipyard in Europe, <laughs> bro. <laughs> well, I guess this isn't really geographically or ge yeah, accurate. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sure the ships can fit in there and nah, that's. They they just use the uh, uh, city names of the country. 
Is this an RTS or an RPG? It's, it's turn-based strategy, so it's not, it's neither, sorta. Oh, piss off, you bitch. Me, 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 me. I'm, I'm a royalty. Me, me. What is an easy start and save? Um, Letter A, someone OP, like Poland, or... Show sh the Shoson, or the stupid, <laughs> the Indians, one of the Indian tribes, uh, Shoson, I'm pretty sure is her name. Uh, really good to play as, but what's an easy one to learn? Like, an easy one would have to be one that has buildings, a unique building and a unique unit, so you could learn both. I guess Poland would be easy, because Poland's is OP, but... Shoshone. Okay, Shoshone. Pretty good. If you wanted, like, certain civs are really good at learning religion. Like, some civs are completely garbage at uh, religion, so you don't learn about religion. Like, I played the. When I first got the second expansion, Gods and Kings, um, I played the Celts, so. Uh, I hope I said that right. I know their, I know their soccer team's called Celtic, but yeah. Turn base X4. Glory to the city that's in the middle of nowhere. The reason I took this, I want in on the silver trade. Toronto has a monopoly on the silver trade, and I'm not going to let them get any of that. So, F that shit. I am. Oh no, York's. Uh, I think. I believe, yeah. Toronto's trying to edge on the crab trade. I can't I can't stop it though. Crab trade is his, it looks like. Probably gonna put a city there soon. Let's see. Korea is the I mean Korea teaches you about science. Like certain sales have like really good easy ways to get a winning condition. So certain sales teach you different parts of the game. Some civs are just bad at teaching you anything, like... I mean, there are warlike civs, like an easy war civ would be Japan. But it also teaches you that war is bad, because the more people you declare war on early game... Like, early game warmongers are really bad in this game now. Because they nerfed it quite a bit in the latest expansion. Huh? Did I clear it? What the hell? Did the camp just die? Where'd it go? Did I clear it? Huh. Don't remember doing that. Maybe I did. Oh yeah, I did. Right? I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, you idiot. Idiot. Did he do that? Oh my god. I was farming this. Oh man. I was farming for free culture. Whenever you kill a barbarian with uh, a social policy from here, you get free culture. And I've been doing it for like the past 50 turns. Alright, I'm done my cheese. Yeah, I know China's better than Japan in this game, but I mean, just saying if you wanted to learn about a certain thing, you'd learn that war is bad pretty fast. I need to get this. Requires patronage. Alright, got it. Let me see. Hmm, not, what the hell? Holy crap. Alright, where should we go? I know, I'm worried because there's two unemployed citizens. So I'm like... Because this, this city is growing too fast because there's too many bananas. <laughs> it's near bananas, so it grows faster than my capital. I knew it would grow really fast when I made it. There's a possible win through warmongering. Like... It's, a, if, it's easier when you, like, the best time to declare war is probably in the Renaissance era, like, as soon as you get artillery. No, I think that's industrial era. Like, that's when the game gets, fit. that's when you can have a big enough army to wipe every, start wiping everyone. It's time I told the world of your sins. Fuck you, Rob Ford, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm your bro, dude. You can't just denounce your bro.
What difficulty is this Emperor number six that's below Immortal above King? But the win condition I'm going for is elect Rob Ford into as world leader. God bless our so our life for Rob Ford. I have a spy. To Vienna. I believe Vienna must be. Maria Teresa's entered the Renaissance era. That means she's the most uh, teched person on the map. So putting a spy in her place would be most beneficial. So that's why we're putting a spy there because uh, you steal a tech after a lot of turns. We need gold. Who the hell is gold? Oh, that's pearls. Dyes, furs, I could have just went in this list and never mind. Oh, Wellington, hello, Wellington. Easy, I'll get two civs, or I'll get two city states with this move. Glorious leader, Rob Ford. He's a man of the people. That is who Rob is. Bernard Juan, he's... <laughs> no, he isn't. Do not mock our great leader. I yeah, should get that and start spreading the word of... Ford Nation. <laughs> that's the religion that's in this mod. We got a writer's guild soon. We're not friends with Ford. Ford hates us right now. Uh, what business do you have here? Oh my god. Hate us. <laughs> At least as long as I have a better army than him, you want to attack me. Good. If Rob Ford attacks me, holy shit, I'm going to be pissed. Like, he's going to he's gonna pay. Like, you do not fuck with me, Rob. <laughs> do not fuck with me. That's all I have to do. I'm going to vote you into the world. World Council, but goddamn, do not fuck me. I like how he's about to take this terrain, and I can't. I can't stop it, because I can't buy this tile, because it's four spaces away from both cities. So he's actually going to lock me out of Rotterdam. Finally, Ford Nation, let's rock. Ford Nation, we enhance the religion of Ford Nation. Our Lord and Savior. What the hell? How did no one know this, bar this barbarian camp must be new? There's Shaka, okay. So I can follow our belief. I'll just do this. Answer. Spread 30% further away, I think that's better. Yeah. It's going to snowball. Once I have several cities under four nation, that's when the snowball begins for my religion. Who else has a religion? No. No. There we go. Babylon has Islam. Okay. Only two people have religions. Damn, these computers suck. What's the average length? Of, I'm assuming the game, because that'd be weird, the other question. A <laughs> normal game would it take how many hours? Six, eight? This is on quick though. There's 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 longer settings than this. He actually made a land grab near this guy and he's mad how do I make him more happy? Like land grabs are I think it's bug where uh you can say you're not or your uh your affairs are none of your business, but they still think you're out to get their land, but uh you can just like, 
either trade with them or give them stuff for free. But like they don't usually declare war off of that. Usually there's a bigger reason than just a land grab. Like there's sometimes a bigger reason than just that. I need a great general actually. I need a great general. If he's gonna steal this land, I'm just gonna great general it and say F you. On standard it takes ten to fifteen. Yeah, probably. That's why I'm on that's why I'm on quick. Cause god damn. Higher difficulty more often no clear. Yeah, if the moment you you're weak in this game in terms of military they will dec definitely declare war. Like I'm surprised Babylon has not been uh, killed yet. I think the reason why Babylon hasn't been declared war on yet is they're so far away from everyone else. Currently, I know Toronto is going to be a target though, since Toronto has one social policy right now. Let's see. Rob Ford. He has two social policies right now because of his unfortunate passive. Wow, oh, the wonders are really distributed fairly, except for Rob. Do not know much about Bulgaria, unfortunately. Never actually been to Bulgaria. The Robster. <laughs> Ooh, the Robster. I think it's fine. Truffles, gems, and truffles. Shaq, I'm a boy. I want goddamn. Hey, I don't need you. Actually, wait, if I trade this, I actually get two more out of the deal. Yeah, so I should always do that. Yeah, so it's my passive. Or my special for this save is trading resources. Technically gives me two more happiness. Because if I trade the last, oops, if I trade the last copy of a resource, I still have, I still get two happiness from it. What's the point of having Robin here again? They make the game harder because I'm gonna elect him into World Congress, or I'm gonna elect him to World Congress. Put the sub, but the, but the icons. Someone think about the icons. I've never played Tropical. I've heard of it, and it's, it's usually usually on sale on Steam. Crap! Did that guy ended? Maria Teresa is plotting against Rob Ford. Oh my God! I'm I'm gonna have to defend him. Might as well kiss the city goodbye. You're going to put people out of their homes. <laughs> For God's sake, Rob. Emperor difficulty number six, yes. It's a really common question, but oh my god. What the hell she is? Shit. Oh no, she's gonna get the Forbidden Palace. It's actually a really um really popular wonder that the AI will usually go for. I should have known that would happen. Shit, I can't get it. It's two turns away. Oh my god. This is actually really, really strong. God damn it. Because it helps you greatly for the World Congress. Rob Ford does not provide cocaine as a luxury resource. He does have silver. Close enough, right? Look at look at him um, try to expand into my territory. What are your thoughts on Civ Six? Looks cool. I really want to play it, obviously. The spy menu. You can tell how many turns she's from. Wait, how? You can see how many turns until she gets. Oh, you're a genius! Right, I forgot about that. Four turns, god damn it! I'm not gonna get it unless I got a great engineer like instantly. 
You're correct. Global offensive. I played with C er, Lemon, Smithy, Nick Wu, and Lemon Nation yesterday. Or did I say Lemon already? And hi. I got carried, but it was a good experience. <laughs> but the chat so good. Right now we gotta just we got to calm down, Austria. Austria is going to kill Toronto. Oh, my God. I have to save... <laughs> I have to save Toronto. <laughs> We're going to have to be bros soon. Right. It just happens that since Toronto's infrastructure costs are times 4 and their social policies are times 10, they're not very strong, and I'm pretty sure everyone's going to gang up on Rob Ford soon. Like, Rob, you just got to make better friends, man. Like, sometimes the taxpayers <laughs> need a little help. I'm done with League for today. I have an hour, about 50 uh, minutes until I'm done Civ 5 for tonight. Okay. Shit. I know Rob's gonna get invaded on. Like, I just know I gotta cover his ass. I'll be a hero. Alright, spread the word of Ford Nation, please. <laughs> Where the hell's my third one? There we go. Spread the word. Spread the word, my friend. Ford Noosh. Let's see, what do we get? We get one more gold for every four followers and production for each one. Okay. Great. So now this is going to spread real fast. The way religion works is. You start with your home city, your holy city, and it spreads out slowly. It emanates pressure on cities nearby. But what I just did, I got a wonder that gives me missionaries, which can spread it really fast by just going to the place, and then it, a certain number of people. Like, if people are not converted to any religion, they'll probably instantly go to your religion if you send a missionary or a great prophet to it. But So now my religion will spread a lot because not only is this city emanating a pressure, this one's emanating too. Scarborough is getting hit by three cities right now, maybe even four if this one's not too far away. So yeah, so my religion is going to be fucking everywhere. Ford Nation is going to be, it's going to take over this, this, this place really fast. And the cool thing about religion is it grants bonuses to whoever founded it, and the followers get a slight bonus, but not as much as the founder. So if you're going to follow religion, make sure you're the guy who founded it, because you'll probably get all the money and everything. Damn, I'm not going to get this. Difficulty is indeed emperor number six. What time am I doing with this guy again? Oh shit, no! I wanted to get the free XP from this. No, I think he's about to die. Those barbarians aren't lasting much longer. Shaka's probably going to declare war on Denmark soon. These, uni these units are really strong because that's their special unit. Usually the AIs will try to make a move when they're special units in the game. Because you don't want to wait until gunpowder because then, then your special unit's obsolete. What mods are you using? I'm only using one, and it's the Toronto, <laughs> Toronto mod, satire mod made by someone who's pretty, or someone who's a little pissed at Rob Ford's uh, progress in the office. Do you know how to pronounce any of the city names? Amsterdam. There you go. I got, I got one. Rotterdam. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Utrecht. I'm probably failed on that one. Groningen. I oh, failed that one. Breda. Even I can do that one. Oh, this is Netherlands, yes. Why not put difficulty in the title to prevent saying it to everyone? You're at Civ 5. And per difficulty, Rob Ford Hype. There you go. Genius. Broadcast update successful. I'm going to enter in there. Because if you enter in foreign territory, uh, the conversion strength is lower. Alright, I gotta get... I gotta get... Hmm. Alright, Rob, I'm gonna do this. And wait. 
We got Rotterdam and Amsterdam, right? See? Alright, let's see what we can do. Goodbye, this only has two uses. It's Breda, not Bre it's Breda. Oh, Breda. Okay, there we go. Today you learned. Change the name of your city by clicking on the city. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally do that. I don't know. We usually just leave it because it doesn't seem that Netherlands that change every city name to the odd ones. Funland. What map type is this? I'm pretty sure it's random. I'm pretty sure I put Let me see. I can easily check. It was. Oh no, no, it's Pangea. Oh, never mind. Pangea. I didn't want islands there. That's why I hate. The one problem with random is you create islands. That's Breda. Fuck you. Now you guys are screwing me over, dude. Yeah, apparently I need to a plug in to say, oh yeah. Rob Ford actually made a wonder. Holy crap, he actually did something this game. Holy crap, he has a Notre Dame. I didn't know Toronto. <laughs> Toronto had that. Pangea. Oh, it's Pangea. Panga? Pangea? Pangea? Great. Pronunciation is actually very bad. Actually, atrociously bad. If you, like, if you watch me stream a lot, you'll notice that very quickly. Wait, why am I making... Oh, it's Hagia Sophia. Okay. The Anger Wad is actually one of the worst wonders in the game. It's, uh, this wonder. Culture and gold cost require new tiles reduced by 25% in every city. It's like, damn, that wonder sucks. Yeah. One turn, yeah. Forbidden Palace. Damn, that sucks. That she got it. How do you show the score on the board top right? I'm pretty sure it's an op option somewhere. It should be in... Interface, there we go. Single player scoreless, done. Join us in Ford Nation. I get so much money now from religion, 15 gold from religion, nice. Now the word was spread. York is pretty screwed. York's, <laughs> York's under Four Nation soon. Because now it's surrounded by five cities that have Four Nation in it. There. Trying to figure a different place to spread my religion. Damn it, I don't want to lose conversion, but I might have to. We're not getting writers good, it seems fast and free. Maybe I should. Yeah, there you go, I told you. I caught it. Would Denmark survive against the evil Shaka army? Ah, uh, they probably will. The AI is really dumb when it comes to combat, especially combat that isn't on an open field, so this Copenhagen is in a perfect spot. Same with that city. Like there's no ch like maybe at best they'll get this city, but highly doubt it. Like the AI is insanely dumb when it comes to combat in this game. Especially at a choke point like this. Like it is very hard for them to get it. The AI, the AI gets less dumb as the game goes on because cities die faster, but this early I'm pretty sure. Maybe you'll get that, but I don't she's not even gonna have a chance to get to Copenhagen. Copenhagen's gonna snipe units in this corridor right here. This should be good. One twenty I have one twenty science right now. Let's see what I get from this. Twenty one science, nice. That is actually a huge boost. Twenty percent boost to mine. I have a lot of allies, many allies. Observatory. Maybe I should get ready to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Faster movement on road. Maybe I should stop in wonders and focus on actually doing stuff. Let's do this, shall I? Oh yeah, you, th this place is fine for Raiders Guild. I have so many 
people, yeah. And I'm not I'm not the one destroying Copenhagen, it's someone else. You watch any other streams or YouTubers? Sometimes I watch some Hearthstone streams because I mean they get better at that. I don't play enough Hearthstone, but I should play more, or else I'll never get some of the cards I need. The old Blood Mage Thanos eludes me. As if Rob Ford would declare war on me. If that son of a bitch declares war on me, I'm sending everyone at <laughs> uh, Pretty sure city states aren't considered foreign land. It's your thought I'm playing more CSGO. I suck really hard at CSGO. Like, I may look good against pubs in um, casual in the office, but <laughs> let's be honest, I am god off at it. I just don't understand it. I know it's like point and shoot, but there's more to it. Like, there's not spray and pray or like put your mouse over a certain point and then react really fast. Austria is moving. Oh shit, yeah, Austria is about to declare. Well, oh my god. By default, I must save. I must save Rob Ford. So I get. I'm gonna have to build my army. Glorious, glorious Rob Ford religion. <laughs> let's let's give Ford Nation the more people. Ford Nation a go. Maybe I should in each. Damn, I have too many. Maybe I should just make a holy site. Yeah, I think I'll just do that now. Cathedral's 200, okay. It'll give me an artist spot so I can actually get that. Okay, no more wonders for now. I think I believe. Oh, I can make a cargo ship. <laughs> I can actually trade with York in this small little. Like, what was I supposed to do? The hell? Who doesn't have a library? Oh, god damn it! This one, I don't even like that one. I'll save it for now. Blah blah, base. Got the chat off screen. Sorry about that. Then where would I put my camera though? Ooh. Yeah, it's probably better. I, th I believe this. Yeah, this place needs more production. I don't want science from jungles, cause I have so many bananas, but so little production. Some cities are like that. They have a lot of food, so they grow a lot, but then they can't have any production, cause the terrain is awful for it. It's mostly flatlands and bananas, so I don't really mind losing two science, two food. I really need that. I really need the production for that city. We're gonna play a league? Nah, no more league for tonight. More effective start red trinket than yellow. On a jungle, nah. Like the early game level two invades are really annoying, so yellow is probably more useful in those scenarios. What if you just save his main city? Should be easier to defend. That's not a fucking. Oh my god, that's not a good like way to be friends with Rob Ford. I'm fucking defending Rob Ford. Like I'm a man of my word. Like if I save him, I save the taxpayers. So that's fucking. Save Rob Ford. I think it's time to save Rob, so. This will fuck me over, but I have to do it. 
I have to protect Rob from <laughs> these scoundrels. Some people try to take advantage of your friends. The kind of person you are is if you stick up for them. And I'm fucking gonna stick up for him. So Rob Ford, you son of a bitch, you may hate me, but I'm fucking gonna stick up for you. Because that's what friends are, man. It's Rob Ford hype time. Let's fucking shit on some. <laughs> Let's fucking <laughs> kick their ass. Yeah. All right, next turn I'm going to declare war. It's going to screw me over, but you got to stick up for your friends. Next turn I'll fucking do it. Remember. Wait one more sec. Okay. He's going to try to attack York. Who's Rob Ford, the greatest mayor? Better pack up your pillow and your sleeping bag outside, partner. Or do you want me to make your bed for you tonight? <laughs> These are actual quotes that the person made for Rob Ford. <laughs> These are actual quotes that he's, he has said. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm going to help you, Rob. To the All right, Rob. Oh shoot, I get my special unit. I can shit on Vienna with it. Nice. This is actually fine. Like I can actually use this. Nice. The sea beggar. I can't wait. Yes, actually, I will get it. But I don't know, what about the ground offensive? Or we can get super ships. Do an overview of your units. I mean, how many units I have on the field? I have three knights, two pikemen, two scouts, four catapults. I did not make a single catapult myself. All these catapults have been donated by the stupid, stupid AI. Okay, I have a few composite bowmen, chariot archer, two archers here. Well, let's kick some ass. Alright, fuck, I gotta save Rob. Alright, so stick up for your friends, but you might as well kiss the city goodbye, you're going to put people out of their homes, for fuck's sake, Rob. Okay, never do anything for free, even with your friends, let's see. What would you give for me to go to, oh my god, oh my god, he has zero gold and minus four, what the hell is he doing? I mean, I know taxes are hard, but Jesus Christ. I guess you can give me an embassy. Oh my god, Rob. Can I get anything anything for free? Actually, no. I'm, okay, you know what? <laughs> All right, Rob, you know what? We're going to do this the hard way. Okay, we're going to wait until York is destroyed. And then we're going to recapture York and give it back to Rob, and then I'll look like a hero. How about that? Okay, how about we do that? Fuck. Get all the units ready. That is the new battle plan. Get everyone back home. Let's see. Alright. New plan, guys. New fucking plan. We're going to upgrade all our catapults. New plan, because Rob is a moron, but he's, he's our moron. Alright, new plan. We're going to let York burn. But I don't want the people of York... You've done nothing wrong. <laughs> A likely story. Alright. Now we play the waiting game. <laughs> I'm making a caravel to attack that city. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. I could.
Sword Nation, baby. Alright, Tron's gonna be your best friend once York dies. It's her favorite anime. I don't know, I like, to gun I like Gundam once. Oh yeah, I forgot the AI is terrible in combat. The AI is so bad that even Rob Ford can take take Austria out. I don't believe this. This plan might not work. He might actually defend it on his own. That's the sad thing. He might actually win this war on his own. Rob Ford, the genius. <laughs> and now he's a now he's a five star general. <laughs> he's a genius. Bar these are real paintings by the way, that's the cool thing about uh, Brave New World. Like they they base it off real artists and then they have real paintings or paintings of that they made. Same with um Um what was I gonna say? Same with uh Raiden Raiden, yeah. The music unfortunately is I believe is owned by someone, so they can't use uh, music or the actual music in this game, unless they'd be sued or have to pay millions of dollars just for a five-second sample of it. Can you give us a quick rundown on the game status? Right now, we're just trying to get a lot of money and be ahead of everyone, and then slowly, once or UN, the UN hasn't started. UN doesn't start until. Uh, someone discovers print and press or meet every seven in the game, but I have. Wait, 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 wait. This is where the game real starts. Okay, the game will start once there. Yeah, founder of the World Congress once every other sieve has been met. So I haven't, I haven't researched that yet. Oh, they use classical music. That's real. Yeah, apparently, I guess that's free to use. Because public domain, yes. I see. My knights are perched on a rooftop. Right now, Rob Ford is getting owned, and we're going to save his ass for the good of Rob Ford. Now we're not Zulus. Zulus are actually attacking Denmark right now, and failing, it looks like, because there was a choke point. Uh, only one unit can attack this at a time unless you use naval units. So, And yes, the pyramids are in the water. I don't know why. Marble connected, losing grasp. Can't believe Rob Ford's actually fighting back. Unbelievable. We love the King Day. Let me see. Panama City, no longer friends. Buenos Aires, now allies. Mogadishu, Rob Ford no longer opens borders to us, piece of shit. Oh my god, Rob! My oh boy. I've got places to go, people to see. Well, I need those that open borders. And the taxpayers are happy, I am happy, yes, yes indeed, Mr. Rob. What do you want for this? You want five iron from me? Okay, we can do that. Open borders for me and five gold per turn. Oh my god, you'll never, ever, ever find Rob Ford stealing one red cent of the taxpayer's money. <sighs> I really want these open borders, holy crap. Fine, there you go. <laughs> there you fi no, maybe I'll lower it by a little bit. Let's see if we go down that low, the offer's not good enough. The taxpayer's happy, yes, yes. Guys, I'm <laughs> he's a genius. He successfully convinced me to give him more money. He's a genius. Well, I should have gotten this a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking lie. <laughs> These are actual quotes that Rob Ford says. 
the the unique ones like there's some pre pre-made ones for Civ 5 but uh, the person made it so anything that's different uh, is an actual quote that he said who am I friends with right now oh yeah I'm with Maria oops yeah, I can give her something yes I'm gonna steal her money for now and then I will betray her soon enough and she will not realize it because my bond with Rob Ford is far superior to our friendship between our countries you want passage through my country well jeez how about we do a different trade then he'll be like this guy hates me does this guy hate me? What the hell? Babylon, you built wonders at Caveda, you're convened for favor of the city states. Hmm, interesting. She hates me. Or he hates me. Because you can tell when a Civ hates you when they um, make. or they don't give you what something is worth. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why he hates me so much. Oh my god, Rob Ford is a genius. He's defending the Austrian attack. Like, god damn it, Austria. Take that city so I can attack it. And then give it back to Toronto. And then Toronto will be my ally for the rest of the game. He'll die. Oh, dang, you're having problems too. AI's not very good with money. There's a kid outside crying. Goodbye, Mr. Zalian. You're all my sons. When will Burex and start the stream? I believe they still have one more um, scrim. What the heck? You need its orders. Oh. Now we just wait. The AI is not good at money, what the, the... The way they make the AI strong in this game is they have hidden advantages that the player doesn't get. If you're above the, I believe, the Prince difficulty, uh, the AI starts getting advantages. The advantages become really noticeable in Immortal and Deity. That's when the game gets insanely hard. Emperor is actually a lot easier compared to Deity and Immortal. But it's because it's really hard to... It's really like... From a design standpoint, it's really hard to just make something smarter, you know, like make AI smarter. It's very hard um, programming that. Like you just have to think about it. It's like, oh, what if he does this? Like, how do I make the AI adapt to a situation like that? So AI is one of the harder fields. Um, it's always been a problem for a lot of programmers. Because, I mean, you crash, you're basically creating artificial life, basically, at, the, at that rate. If you could, like, I d highly doubt a game would have, like, super intelligent AI. Or else they might as well go to a different field and develop artificial life. Yeah, I've been an immortal a couple of times. I've never been in deity though. It's, it's more than just if and else statements. There's a lot to it. Like they have to factor in so many things. Like most, yeah, most games would just simply make them cheat. Like that's the best, the strongest way to make AIs better is just make them cheat. And then, it doesn't matter. Like, because I'm pretty sure uh, in StarCraft, uh, in the harder difficulties, I think they get more more minerals, I believe. And instead of making them smarter, they they don't have to scout. That's one thing you notice about the AIs in RTS games, they don't scout. They just somehow know where your bases are and their units just show up because it's really hard to program uh, an algorithm to have them recon and scout and like understand what they just saw. Like when they see one factory, do they think you're doing this strat or something? Like it's really hard to program something that, like that. 
So basically, most RTS is they just ignore the fact there's fog of war. So the, the AI just rushes the base. Like, there's a lot of theory and stuff on it, so definitely not easy. One of the harder topics. I've only played Dundiety once and I lost pretty hard, so I was like, okay. It feels demoralizing when you have the scoreboard on Diety because you're already behind turn one. Make a YouTube video explain how to Civ well. I could, but maybe well, if I have a lot of time. Maybe in the after Worlds, maybe. Because most of the teams will be streaming then, so I have more time to do non league stuff. Yeah, I'll make them cheat without realizing it. Well, it's pretty obvious that in StarCraft the AI cheats. In War Warcraft 3, if you just click on the enemy, or if you're expecting the game, you'll notice they get 20 gold instead of 10 every time the peasants go back. Yeah, it's a challenge making them not have fog of war. The chess AI is interesting because all it does, or it just calculates every single move possible. It does take a little while per turn though. How big can a city get? I'm not sure who has, there's probably someone out there who's made a record city. There's a, a civilization called the Inca. Um, their special, one of their specials is they can get more food uh, that a yeah, terrace farm for every nearby mountain. And I don't know, I think, I believe the highest city I've gotten has been like 40 something population. I'm not sure how much higher you can go. Maybe it was 30. Because the problem is it gets to a point where a city is unable to grow because uh, every, every time one, there's one more person in a city, they amount of food that your city eats goes up and it's very hard like there's a certain point where because because the city can only expand three tiles outside of its or outside of the city limits so uh, there's a limited amount of food um, so there's going to be a point where your citizens will eat the exact amount of food that you produce and then you can no longer grow so I don't know what the exact um, highest city you can get that's probably like that's probably why how high a city can get. So in order to get like the most populated city, you would have to have a certain wonder called. Um, there's a wonder in the game called uh, Lake Victoria. <laughs> uh, most of the wonders in the game are based off real places and Lake Victoria, blah blah. So it gives six food. If you're Spain, um, Spain's special is it doubles the yields of natural wonders. So it yield 12, and uh, you'd have to have really good towels around it. What are they doing? Hmm, they must be going somewhere. What trade routes to your own city? Yeah, there's that too. I think you have to go the order, order, ideology, and then increased food to your city. Yeah, there's so much shit. So it's probably you could probably easily get to 80, probably. I don't know. Fountain of Youth. I think that gives 10 happiness. Is that Bullcut? Yes. That was Mr. Bullcut. Rob Ford has entered the Renaissance era. Unfortunately, his social policies are still really far behind because the penalty is really big. 125 is the maximum population of Venice. Okay. 
I it? guess that must be it. So 125. I've never gotten close. Don't worry. World Congress. Shit. It means Maria is instantly yeah leader because she has the Forbidden Palace, so she instantly becomes leader. I get to do a resolution. If you control the UN, you basically control a lot of the game. You can embargo enemy civilizations. Of course they'll hate you, but you're in control. Like You have the votes. That's how democracy works. Whoever has the most money <laughs> gets everything. I'm just going to do this. Like, usually you try to do neutral policies unless you really hate someone. You really want to screw someone over. So, world's fair it is. How's York doing? York's dying. Probably not going to the anime expo. No one to go with. Maybe higher would be gone. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's make some sea beggars. No stream democracy three. I saw that on Steam. I don't know if it'd be a good spectator game on stream. Why do you change every trade back to the exact same trade? Oh, oh, it's usually I'm testing. Usually, the AI usually doesn't accept uh, their own trades that they sometimes offer. Usually, I see how much I can get from someone, but uh, usually, I don't want to get shortchanged. But let's see, York's almost dead. Excellent. My attack will be ready soon. Yeah, you can get food from maritime city states. There's a lot of ways to get food. The barracks not that good. I, I'm not really using them. Like most of my army has been given to me by my allies. Like, see, I'm already <laughs> world's most progressive people. <laughs> He's way behind. Yeah, Amari's giving me this guy. What the hell? Better starving. What the hell happened? Oh my God, Toronto. Get the hell off. Oh, we're unhappy, that's why. Let's see. Oh, this is terrible. This one's good, though. There we go. This one's a huge policy. This policy is amazing. Wow. The amount of happiness. I got eight happiness. Like, I get more the more allies I have, but concern how few allies I have right now. Let's see, I only have three. Yeah, I only have four city states allied. I imagine I have five more. We want to generate a great one. I can get you under my control. It's time to start the. It's time to build a little army of allies against Austria. Austria will know. Yeah, Austria is gonna be pretty. <laughs> Austria is gonna be pretty shocked once I declare war when every city state turns against her. <laughs> Cause I'm basically lo like, Austria's uh, special is they can take over a city state if they've been allied to it for ten turns and pay a thousand gold. But it's really hard when some some douchebag me is allied with all of them. You show the stats bar in the top right corner. It's in the options, uh, inter under interface, menu, options, interface. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Cargo ship, let's go to York. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my ship when they take it over. Hopefully the trade routes still exist. Sea beggar, but I don't want this place doesn't go to sea. Fuck that shit, I'm just gonna send it to kill York. You get a screenshot of how many hours you played in Civ 5. Why do, why do you want a screenshot? I'm going to show you right now. I'm pretty sure at 860. Let's see. 830. Wow, I guess I'm, damn, I guess I'm off by 30 hours. Wow, I suck. I thought I was at 850 last week. Maybe it was 820. Okay, I see. No, maybe it was 830. Yeah, maybe that's correct. Okay, 830. Not bad. Yeah, I've seen more. I've seen people of 2K. Let's see if this is the best. Uh, people consider Poland and Maya, and Maya to be the, the strongest. Babylon and Korea are also good, but Poland is considered the strongest because for any, they are strong or they they can adapt to any w victory condition. Like sometimes the map might not favor a certain victory condition, 
and you have to switch it up. Um, Poland goes around this because free social policies allowed you to do anything you want. Hmm. Oh shit. The press is the best instrument for enlightening the mind of man. Okay, I actually have to go now, actually. Holy crap. I didn't realize I was supposed to go now. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, actually. I'm really sorry about the abrupt end. I actually have to go now. Holy crap. Alright, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, that was a short sip.